Welcome to Nicolet High School in the video section of our 1995-1996 yearbook. This is the 41st edition of our print book and the second edition of our video. We have attempted to capture all of Nicolet in our multimedia package and hopefully we have created a time capsule to last forever containing your memories of Nicolet. Everyone's perspective is different. At Nicolet High School, you'll never find two the same. After all, Nicolet, it depends on who you ask. What does the copper mural in the main entrance represent? What are the C-106 walkie-talkies really used for? What time is it really? As a part of our attempt to discover what Nicolet is all about, during the year we asked you for your opinion and you never had a problem coming up with something to say. So join us as we travel the halls to see Nicolet from many points of view. One of the major reasons for the success of Nicolet is the great diversity of both its students and staff. It is this diversity that allows students and faculty of differing cultures and creeds to not only coexist but to prosper. The Copper Mural to me represents the past and the future and the memories of those Nicolet graduates who passed this way before. I think the Copper Mural represents the people at this school. Wait, there's a Copper Mural at Nicolet? The walkie-talkies are really used at Nicolet so the janitors can play army. We're ordering Domino's pizza when we don't have something in the cafeteria. Excellence in academics continued with 11 National Merit semifinalists and outstanding Negro students, as well as 10 commended scholars. Additionally, 92% of those who took AP exams received grades of three or better and appropriate college credit. I know the fight song in Spanish. Como estas? Muy bien. The most asked question by members of the senior class during the football game was not, are we winning? But rather, did we win? They weren't referring to the athletic contest held on the field, but rather to their quest for the coveted Spirit Cup. When the final totals were announced at halftime of the football game, it was the juniors who were dancing in the streets. for the homecoming king and queen. Go, Go Nicolay! The pep rally was the best ever. Juniors rule! Juniors deserve the Spirit Cup. My name is Kia Callum and I'm from the class of 96 and I must say Nicolay's pep rally is a great way to show school spirit. I'm Alyssa Morris from the class of 97 and I'm happy that our, home, our pep rally turned out to be wonderful. It was great. Good job, Nicolay. Go Nicolay! The pep assembly was incredible. It changed my life. <laughs> Under the able leadership of head coach Dave Gannat, 
and with the help of team captains Tremaine Edwards, Ryan Finnerty, and John Baldwin, this year's football season started off with much promise when the team won their first two games. Unfortunately, these initial wins were followed by seven defeats. Good luck next year, guys. The boys cross country team had a fine season. It was all capped off by the dual victory of the junior varsity and varsity teams at the Hamilton Invite. Led by captain Gus Kaufman, the team finished fourth in the conference meet. Outstanding runners for the team, winning second team all-conference was Kyle Frazier and honorable mention was Jerry Lager. The girls cross country team painted their season with many victories and defeats. Led by captains Deborah Bach and Emily Mandelman, the team had an outstanding finish at the conference meet. Led by co-captains Amanda Lieb and Rachel Miller, this year's Nicolay girls swimming and diving team finished the regular season second in the North Shore Conference. Nine girls represented the team at the state meet with Nicole Court taking sixth in the 100-yard freestyle and 13th in the 200-yard freestyle. Rachel Miller placing eighth in diving and the team finished in the top 20. Losing only three state qualifying seniors, next year's team promises to be stronger. The boys soccer team, coached by John Zinner, improved to a 2-4-1 mark and sixth place in the very difficult North Shore Conference. Two sophomore members of the team, Jason Carter and Mike Marks, captured honorable mention all North Shore Conference. The tradition of excellence continues as the girls tennis team won its fourth straight state team title. Leah Jackson won the state title after winning her match against teammate Andrea McGuera, who won second in state. I know we're all seniors. Coach this year was Mara, Mara Sullivan, and she she basically works with seniors, and we'd like to thank her. Thanks, Mara. Thanks, Mara. Thanks, Mara. Thanks, Mara. Thanks, Mara. She's been lots of help. You're welcome, guys. <laughs> One, two, three. Beat them up! In the Satellite Boys Volleyball Conference, the squad finished second and senior Wes Gable was selected as a first-team all-conference pick. Senior Jeff Sargent and junior Brian Adam were named to the second team. The girls' volleyball team had a successful season with help from all-conference players Beth Bradley and Colleen Mulcahy. Homecoming means many different things to many different people. Alumni returning to take in a game and see the school, extra evening work for Mr. Pete Ehlert and Mr. Jim Spurl, and dress-up days for the Student Council Homecoming Committee. The Spirit Days this year consisted of Pajama Toga Day, Twin Day, 50s, 60s, and 70s Day, Favorite Celebrity Day, and the traditional Blue and White Day. <laughs> was a terrific way to let loose after a busy week.
Decked out in their new uniforms and under the direction of Mr. Nick White, the Nicolay Marching Band triumphed at the homecoming game. This year, the Nicolay Spotlight shines on senior Amaya Lambert. President of the senior class, she works endlessly to ensure their success. Amaya has had a very busy year coordinating the activities of the senior class. She now wonders how she ever got along without voicemail, newly added to the student council office this year. You're the best listener that I've ever met. You're my best friend, best friend with benefits. Mr. Feltyberger's physics class found the optimum combination of water and air pressure to shoot their rockets sky high. It's hard to get back. The purpose of this experiment was to get the highest height. In order to do that, you had to get a lot of air into the bottle and a little bit of water, and thus it went far, far in the sky. Like a child, girl. You know I've seen a lot of what the world can do. Yeah, that's breaking my heart. And now, hold on while the Child Guidance Supermodels debut. Did you know that Nicolet was ranked number one high school in the state of Wisconsin? The cool at school this year. The online services exploded, bringing the internet world into millions of homes and offices. The most hyped new product in years, Windows 95, had PC users buzzing and upgrading. Television's top ten was dominated by the half-hour situation comedy. Friends, Sybil, Seinfeld, and Frazier kept us laughing. Jane Seymour and Jimmy Smits were marquee names in prime time, but ER continued to steamroll as the number one drama. We went to the movie theaters in record numbers. The big hits included Apollo 13. The hottest new stars, Brad Pitt, and the girl next door, Sandra Bullock. On Oscar night, it was Mel Gibson's Braveheart, taking home five Academy Awards, including Best Film. Nicolas Cage was honored as Best Actor, and Best Actress went to Susan Sarandon. But the surprise box office success went to Babe, featuring a talking pig, and the first fully computer-generated feature film, Toy Story, an example of computer-dominated graphics in print and video. Ever wondered what your teachers used to look like? Let's see if we can find out. are the Ethernet patch cablings that run to these hubs that then interact with these patch panels, which will then connect back to the fiber optic cable, that's this blue or this orange cabling that runs then throughout the building. This is kind of like the heart of everything. Everything comes through here.
singing the day away, the Nicolay Chamber Singers are one among many of the choir groups here at Nicolay. Have a listen to their melodious talent. Top 10 reasons why we use debit cards at Nicolet. Number 10, so you can eat whatever you want and however much of it. Number 9, because the food service is too cheap to hire more cashiers. Number 8, because it's easier and faster. Number 7, so no money is stolen. Number 6, so you can spend money you don't have. It's the American way. Number five, so you can spend a lot of money at school. And it's charged to your parents. Number four, because every kid here has a credit card anyway. Number three, so you can spend your friend's parents' money. Number two, because the lunch ladies can't make change. And the number one reason is, because Nicolet prefers plastic to, to cash. cash. Did you know that Jim Liska has been the yearbook advisor at Nicolet for the past 20 years? Renata, what is your most challenging class? Bowling, the balls are too heavy and the pins are too small. My most difficult and challenging class would be third hour underwater basket weekend. My most challenging class at Nicolet has been field sports. It was so challenging, I got a piggyback right on the mile. My favorite class definitely at Nicolet is first aid because of all the sleep I get to catch up in that class. You all ready for this? The boys' varsity basketball team made the most of their brand new uniforms this year. They worked hard beating Homestead and then went on to the sectional semifinals. The varsity basketball team also exhibited an outstanding performance. One highlight of the season was being named TV6 Team of the Week. The girls' gymnastics team had a successful year. With such amazing athletes like Alana Zimmerman and Alana Morgan, they've made some astounding improvements. The Nicolet Girl Skiers showed their prowess as they attacked the slopes at Sunburst on a cold winter night. The boys' swimming team started off strong and continued to gain even more momentum as their season progressed. There were powerful showings by Captain Jeff Sargent, Jeff and Mike Marks, and Thor Stolen, who together broke a school record. Their efforts would have been to no avail, however, without the success of the rest of the team. They continued their season ranking 12th in the state.
Despite the prolonged winter cold, the Nicolay wrestling squad heated up the mats during their meets with several achievements, including sending Severo Benavides to state. Our Sadie Hawkins dance was a raving success this year with an outstanding turnout. It was a night of hearts and smiles that will be long remembered. Mark Schumann and I'm president of the freshman class. Hi, I'm Andrew Lowenstein and I'm a proud representative. Hi, I'm Jessica Token and I'm a representative. Hi, I'm Rishi Chabria and I'm a representative. Hey, I'm Caitlin Silver and I'm an honorary member. Go Knights! Some of the artists that caught the eyes and ears of students this year. High School lengthened the school year by five weeks. The purpose of this proposal is to give us the upper hand in our academic program so that we can score higher on our tests at the new Trier High School. So what do you think? Give me your dreams, Playboy. <laughs> Can't wait to see the look on Miss Beard's face when she finds out we crashed all the computers in the school with the touch of a button. Goodness! How can we administrators expect to run this building without our computers? This is Houston. Uh, say again, please. Houston, we have a problem. Hey, guys, what do you say we go to hijack the van? Get the heck out of here, man. They'll never catch us. Go, go. Yo, VIP. Let's kick it. Ice, ice, baby. All right, stop. Collaborate and listen. Ice is back with the brand new invention. Something grabs a... Hey, yo, is that on? I hope not. Just look around Nicolet, and you'll see an incredible mix of personalities and looks. Everyone expresses his or her own individuality and differences but also share a common goal, to have fun. I'm too sexy for my shirt, too sexy for my shirt, so sexy it hurts. And I'm too sexy for Milan, too sexy for Milan, New York and Japan. Hi, 
Hi, my name is Hillary Iron, and I am the secretary of the sophomore class. And during the year, we have done a lot of projects such as Sadie, the Sadie Hawkins dance, which went over really well. We worked all day decorating the gym, and everyone loved the DJ. It just went over really well. Hi, my name is Jamie Domer. I'm an honorary member representing the sophomore class and student council. Um, this year, we have the largest representation of any student council class. Hi, I'm Brian Ripperg. I'm a representative for the sophomore class. And for our fundraisers, we had pretty many big sales, and most of them did pretty well overall during the year. The new lunch program provides us with an abundance of delectable treats, despite the long lines of the newly designed debit card system. Five ninety six Sports, setting a record of endurance, Cal Ripken, saying goodbye to a hero, Mickey Mantle, celebrating Atlanta's first World Series championship, the Braves. Northwestern emerged as the Cinderella story in college football, but Nebraska won its second straight national title. Dan Marino became the NFL's all-time leading passer, but Aikman Smith and the Cowboys were the Super Bowl champs. Tennessee won the women's college championship, Kentucky topped Syracuse for the men's title. Steffi Graft kept winning, and Monica Sellis made a comeback, as did Mike Tyson. And Atlanta prepared to play host to the world in the 96 Olympics. Did you know that student parking will cost a whopping $100 next year, if not more? Some members of the school board would like to raise it to $200. The girls softball team shined bright this year with six returning players. With the assistance of three underclassmen, Coach Robert Atkins is confident that the Knights will defeat Homestead and go on to win conference, and possibly state. The girls track team had high hopes this year to have state qualifiers. The season's most promising athletes included Captain Adrian Trice and senior members Kiana Ships and Emily Mandelman. Under the enlightened guidance of coaches Dave Gannat and Jim Liska, the team was working at its optimal ability. The boys track team had many young athletes this year, with promising efforts shown by senior hurdler Dan Zion and sophomore triple jumper Brian Cole. Coach Dan Knabel set his hopes high to send athletes to, to the state meet yet again this year. This year's girls soccer team, under the able leadership of Kristen Bergschneider, Julie Travia, and Sarah Wokus, has had a very promising season. Most valuable player, Lexi Hook, showed her athletic prowess as they won against Grafton and are now sixth in state. The boys' tennis team is off to a great start this year with a very promising team led by Captain Scott Lurie and Benji Wagner. Freshman Eric Robertson and Justin Holson are first and second at singles players respectively, while Benji Wagner and Max Zubatsky play first doubles and Scott Lurie and Dima Vishnevetsky play second doubles respectively. Although disappointed by the bad weather this year, the boys golf team has had a good season. 
Promising golfers Jake Pash, Alex Eunice, and Sam Grossman aided in the team's success this year. Hi, my name is Leslie Mortar, and I'm junior class president, and this is the extremely cool Thor Stolen class representative. Josh Jubilier, class secretary. Mara Carling, class representative. Jeff Marks, council secretary and class representative. Ooh. <laughs> Big man. Carla Evans, class representative. Robin Heine, representative. Tracy Carter, vice president. Adrian Trice, class representative. Hey guys, what are we doing this year? Citizen King Man! Student Concerns! The physics classes engaged in the annual boating trials on Wednesday, March 13th in our Nicolet pool. Some of us got wet and even soaked in the pursuit of a fully functioning styrofoam yacht. At Nicolet, student talent is not hard to find. Student musicians even meet to play together in an unstructured setting with the help of Mario. I've had the good fortune of working at Nicolet High School for the past 35 years. I started in uh, 1961 as a business education teacher, uh, coach uh, football and basketball, uh, also coached baseball later on, went into administration in 1978, became the athletic director in 1980, and a business manager in 1990-91. I feel very honored and very proud to have worked in a, in a school that I think is the finest in the country. Much to our dismay, three faculty members are leaving Nicolet this year. In addition to Mr. Wolf, Ms. McAndrews of the English Department, and Ms. Wilson of the F Wing Library are retiring. We congratulate them on all their great accomplishments at Nicolet. Seniors showed off their talents this year in their first annual spring talent concert. One hundred fifty-one people, many of them students, are now known dead from the blaze that raced through a Manila discotheque. Tensions between Taiwan and China continued to simmer. Today, China launched a new round of large-scale military exercises. Dole now has 1,000 delegates. That's more than he needs to secure the Republican nomination. About 280,000 federal workers remain off the job today, almost two weeks after the budget impasse triggered a partial government shutdown. And the outstanding teacher 
of 1995 is Richard Ruffalo. The Federal Trade Commission reportedly is preparing to overhaul the way that tobacco companies advertise nicotine and tar ratings. After years of delays, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame finally opened its doors. Hail, hail, rock and roll! Beatles become gear again as the Fab Four come to TV, and John Lennon's voice is added to a new song. Did you know that Nicolay High School was one of two schools in the state of Wisconsin to receive the highly coveted 1996 Racial Justice Award? Friends are a part of what it's all about here at Nicolay, especially in our Yield Leadership Program. Nicolay's top leaders befriended children from St. Rose Grade School as they participated in a myriad of activities. This year's prom started with a bang and continued to be a wonderful success thanks to the great work of the junior class. Prom 96, Nights Like This, was held at the Hyatt on April 27th. The evening was a dazzling array of decoration, ruled by prom king Jess Henriksen and queen Lexi Hook. Post-prom proved to be as exciting as the dance with gambling, a Velcro wall, and free food provided by Taco Bell and Sabaro. Thanks to the PTSO and Mrs. Mortar for this one. Congratulations to the faculty, parents, and staff of Nicolay High School on an outstanding school year. During this past school year, we were named Milwaukee's Outstanding Public High School. We were named one of America's 63 overall excellent high schools, and we received the Racial Justice Award. The fact that we received these awards is attributable to the students, the parents, and the staff and their hard work. I'd also like to congratulate the senior class, the class of 1996. This has been an outstanding class in terms of leadership. We're very proud of this school. We're very proud of its, proud of its students. Thank you, and we wish all of you well. Congratulations to the class of 96. Your class will most certainly leave a very positive, indelible mark here at Nicolay High School. We all wish you well and hope all of your dreams and your goals will come to fruition. As a senior class advisor, I want to wish the class of 1996 the best of luck. We began together when you were sophomores, and we've made it, and I wish you lots of luck next year. Did you know that Humanities Department Chair Dr. David Hackbarth plays bass in a local blues band? Mrs. Isaacson and many others worked this year to make Career Day a fun, successful experience. From FBI agent to CPAs, we had a great representation from the community to teach us their trades.
this year's untamable seniors will soon be gone, though they've definitely left their mark. Soon the juniors will take their place as the big shots at Nicolet. The senior classes have four years together. We've enjoyed the fun times and the serious and intense moments. Hi, Nicolay. This is Melly Holly, and I'd like to wish the best of luck to the class of 1996. Hi, I'm Liz. And I'm Erin. The last four years have been great. Yeah, right. See you in 10 years. Bye, Bye. Nicolay. Bye. Hi, Nicolay. This is Dory. And this is Joe. We just wanted to wish everybody the best of luck and have a good summer. See you around, Nicolay. We just want to say good luck to the class of 1996. Good luck, everyone. See you at our tenure. <laughs> it's been fun. I miss you all. Bye. Hi, my name is Lisa Wood, and I am going to Boston University next year studying pre dentistry. My name is Sarah Marcus, and next fall I'm going to go to the University of Wisconsin Madison and to study humanities. Hi, I'm LaShonda Winton. LaShonda from Nine Six Click, you know. I'm going to the University of Minnesota to study broadcast communications, and I'll see everybody around the way. Hi, I'm Erin Kiefer and Andrea Schaefer. We're going to UW Eau Claire next year. We're having the best time of our life. Hi, I'm Michelle Pinsky, and I'm going to Duke University next year. Go Blue Devils! I'm Jamie Ketton, and I'm going to the University of Pennsylvania, and I just want to wish, wish everyone in the class of 96 good luck next year. Hi, I'm Paul Brandt. Um, while everyone else is studying really hard next year, I'll be relaxing in Europe for 11 months. Hello, my name is Mary Grant, and hopefully this won't be my last time in front of the camera. I would like to become a famous actress and singer, so everyone make sure you get my signature in your yearbook, because one day it could be worth a lot of money. Hi, I'm Lynn Weinberger, and next year I'll be going to UW-Madison to study biology. And I'd just like to say that this is really fun four years, and good luck to everybody. See you later, Nicolay. I'd like to say goodbye to my friend Terrence, who had a little early departure, and my friend Keontae, who had an early departure. See you later, guys. I'd like to say, give a shout out to J.J. McCoy, Mac Daddy, Mac. Hey, Alice. Later, Nicolay. Bye, senior. Bye. Well, Nicolay, it sure has been great. There's just a few people I must thank for the video's success. Special thanks to Mr. Alfred Bell for his help with the student activities. I'd also like to thank my yearbook staff, especially Kim Scott, who was influential in the coordinating of the script, as well as the senior sections. In addition, the video this year would not have been possible without the help of Dr. Moser, Mr. Liska, Mrs. Beard, Tom Elmaker, and all of the students who assisted in narration and film clips. I hope that you've enjoyed our attempts to capture your high school memories in a multimedia collection that will be with you always. Thanks for the wonderful opportunity to look through the camera's eye at Nicolet. This is Graham Hoffman, signing off. See you next year with yet another edition of the Nicolet Shield. Right now, the Multimedia Yearbook, the book, the video, and now CD-ROM in selected schools. It's the yearbook set for today.